All right, guys, today we're here to talk about a game that should definitely be getting more attention, and it's called Just Hoops. This game actually came out over a year ago on App Labs, and I don't know why it hasn't been on the official store. There is no reason this game should still be stuck on App Labs because it is polished and it works supremely well, and it's a ton of fun. This is obviously a basketball game, but it's an arcade basketball game, and there's a ton of different mini games in here as far as different basketball hoops. They have online multiplayer. Uh, they have different series that you can play, they have local leaderboards, and they just recently added Mixed Reality on it. Uh, so that's exactly why I wanted to check this out, because I wanted to check out the Mixed Reality mode, of course, on the Quest 3, uh, which is obviously one of the cool features that the Quest 3 offers. And just check out the game in general, because this is the first time I'm actually playing it. I've never actually seen it before this. Somehow missed my radar, and I think I missed a lot of people's radar, so let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, guys, welcome to Just Hoops. I wanted to show you guys this game that just came out. This is on App Labs, and this is a really fun basketball game. And it has a lot more going on than I thought it would. I thought it was just going to be a simple basketball game, but it's a lot cooler than that. But we're obviously here to talk about the mixed reality feature that they added with the pass through. Uh, but let's go ahead and add pass through, as you can see. I'm just maneuver my headset a little bit. Um, but you can see, obviously, we're here in mixed reality right now. Don't mind the fact that I have a plate there when I was eating. I forgot to take that away, but we'll leave that alone for the time being. Uh, welcome to mixed reality, but sometimes your room's a little messy. But uh, as you can see here, what we're capturing here is you have the main menu here right in front of you. I'm going to go ahead and step a little bit back right here, just so the main menu is a little bit more forward. So you can do this without like a simple button touch right there. And you have level, series, and play online. So you could play online with other people, play against your friend or random players and beat them on a series of levels. And then you can have a succession of different levels and get the highest score, which is really cool. And then you can obviously pick the levels that you're going to play uh, if you want to play them that way. So let's say, for example, we start right here. You could do the first shots. You could do summer shots. You could do haunted shots. I'm going to show you the first shots first just to show you guys what this does. So it starts off really easy. You just got a basketball hoop right here. You can grab the ball. You literally just put it in. Good job. Obviously not too much going on there. Gives you a score. Probably didn't get three stars because I didn't do it that fast. But you can see this is literally in your room in virtual reality. Uh, or a mixed reality. Now you have the hoop a little bit in front of you. So you're going through all these different levels. Good job. So obviously you get your high score there. And it's going through all these different series of levels as you can see here. Now this one's a little bit more on my desk, which is pretty funny. Perfect. 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 Really feels like it's on my desk though, and I'm doing terribly. Perfect. Good shot. Dropped it. Perfect. You win! Got two stars on that. Didn't my high score, as you can see, it tells you your high score. When I played the last time, it was a 42. I only got a 26 that time. Now they start bringing these. Look at this. It feels like I have a basketball thing in my room. Look how cool this is. Literally feels like I have one of these in my room. It's funny. I always wanted one of these in my house, but I don't have a high enough ceiling to put these in my house, unfortunately. But in this, I feel like I have one right now. Look at this. I'm in my room, and it feels like I got one going on right here in my room. Granted, this is a smaller room. I'd put this, it'd be awesome to put this, like, to play this mixed reality mode, like, outside or in my bigger area over there in the living room, but this is still awesome. I'm still pretty bad. I guess I don't have my coordinated skills right now. Also, your arm definitely gets a workout. My high score, as you can see, is a 64. I could have definitely beaten it if I wasn't paying attention faster. Good job. Good job. Five seconds. Whoa. 96, no, new high score, so that's not bad. And I could have definitely got more because I like paused there in between. But you guys get it. This is really cool. Feels like you have one of these literally in your house. And then it keeps changing up. Now this one's a little bit further. They have all these cool different levels. Well, that was terrible. I don't even know what that was. Good shot. 
I literally feel like I'm at an arcade. And this is a lot more addicting than I thought it was going to be. And the mixed reality mode is, is really cool. Your arm does get tired, though. At least mine does. I'm doing this, like, motion over and over and over again. Especially because I haven't been playing this before I started recording. And I definitely can't shoot left-handed. I'll look like a fool. I can't even believe I made that, but I definitely look like a fool because I can't shoot uh, with my left hand. Even though I just made three in a row with my left hand. Cool. Which is hilarious. There we go. And it has leaderboards, so you're playing against people online. This would be a fun uh, game to play against with people. Now we're going really far back. It looks really funny being in this room. Win. The physics feel good. I never feel like I uh, don't get into the rim when I'm not supposed to. It has a satisfying like hit when you hit the rim and stuff. So they did a great job with this, in my opinion. And we're just getting started. They have a lot of levels. Okay. So. And I'm glad that I could actually play it even without my small, even with my small ceilings. And yeah, it looks awesome in here. Good job. Take a shot from over here. Good shot. And he shoots, and he misses completely. Good job. You could like bounce the ball over here too. Definitely not that good, but I was messing around half the time. So now this one, the thing, the, then that's gonna start moving. Cool. You can see it, it keeps changing every time, and you get more points depending on how far it is. Good job. Win. Score. I got a 95 the last time I played this one. So I'm definitely not beating that. But yeah, you can uh, see what I'm talking about here. If we quit, I'll show you guys a couple more here. But I can't do it in this room, but just know that they also have like a giant hoop. I can't do it in here because I'll end up hitting my ceiling. And doing it from down here is a little hard. But just know that if you have higher ceilings than me, you can definitely play this and kind of stand it up. Just hard for me to do in my room. So they do have all those options. And then they also have, like I said, those are your first shots. Then they also have like random stuff that happens. I mean, look at this. We got different hoops over here. They have so much going on. I'm terrible. So this one, the hoops are opening up in different times. Like the game is like really a lot more uh, in detail than I thought it was. I thought it was just going to be a simple basketball game. Good shot. Top score. Good shot. You win. Perfect. You win. Top score. Perfect. Oh, I had the break. So, like I said, this game has a lot more going on than you think. <laughs> Look, I didn't even notice there's a crab over there. You got the crab waving at you, Devin. Let's go back to the main menu and let's show you a different one from down here. 
So, summer shots, like this is obviously all based on uh, different things. So, for example, let's see this last one here. We got a circus going on. Uh, like the circus where they move on you. That's cool. that on the top would be hard for me because of my ceilings in this room specifically. It looks like it went over the hoop. That's pretty cool. But yeah. Go! You guys get the idea. And then this last one here is haunted. So this is, uh, as you can see, different ones that are haunted and stuff and they all do different things. You can see the little like preview that you have going on on here. But let's do one more here. So now these are all haunted. Look at this. We've got a little haunted area up here. And these are like rising. Do you have to put them in a different hole? Oh, you have to shoot them in the color. The. Yeah, a lot of variety in this game, especially when you go online, because you, they, they they obviously, when you play online here, uh, like it said, you're going to be playing against other random people online. So you can see 1v1, and you go against in a two-round match, so it's going to be completely random. You can create your own private room and invite your friends. You can join a private room. Um, it has your stats there. You can even select a series. You can do easy, let's dance, lots of boards, high and lows, fast and furious, so... But yeah, you guys got the idea with all those options there. Uh, I think it's a really cool game, and uh, there's a lot more here than just meets the eye. So I would definitely urge you guys to check those one out. It is on App Labs right now. It should really be on the official store because I think it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything you guys have seen in today's video, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.